Thank you, Ariel, and it's been a mess of a week for Southwest Airlines already, and with the storms this evening, we've been seeing more delays there today and also at Dallas Left Field. Our Malini Basu is at Left Field right now. Malini, what are you seeing out there? Izzy, what are we seeing and hearing? Really, there are so many folks here we spoke to. They are tired, they're frustrated, they just want to get home. So from an hour ago, I just want to show you behind me. You can see there are some passengers that are grabbing their luggage. Those folks, I just spoke to some of them off camera, and they tell me they landed from Orlando, and they were sitting on the tarmac for about one hour. Now, all of this is because of the weather here. So let me just take you back. One passenger we spoke to, she was in Dallas for a kidney transplant, and she tells us she's trying to get back home. It has been challenging to get to Louisiana. Her flight is also delayed. It was delayed another 45 minutes. She needs to get back because she needs to do other treatment. And then another woman we spoke to was stuck in Detroit for two days. And to add to it, her bags are delayed for the second time. What we've learned across the board, thousands of Southwest Airlines flights have been delayed or canceled, leaving passengers stranded. Now, Southwest Airlines has been blaming air traffic control issues and weather. You know, there have been at least a thousand flights that have been canceled since last weekend alone. Now, another man that we had just spoken to says he did everything in his power to get on a flight to Tulsa, but now that's canceled. Take a listen. They canceled the Baltimore flight. So I drove from Baltimore to Ronald Reagan, downtown Washington, D.C., and got on that flight, get here, and now that, my flight to da or Tulsa's canceled. I just want to get home. And I'm, you know, I'm probably a year or two from retirement, and thank goodness. <laughs> And he is definitely taking it in strides. His flight is supposed to be at 915 back to Tulsa. He's keeping his fingers crossed. And you know, all throughout the day here, I've been making friends. I made friends with this woman, Carolyn, who's sitting here. She's waiting for her sister. She just flew in from Phoenix. Her sister landed, she tells me. Uh, she was here. Um, they were circling. And then they had to go to Austin because of uh, the, uh, the weather over here. So hopefully in another couple of minutes, Carolyn's sister will get here. They plan on taking a nice road trip to Louisiana after this. So really, everyone here has a story to tell for now. We are live at Life Field, and I also want to check in with Tiffany Liu, who's over at DFW, to see what conditions are like over there. Tiffany, how's it looking? Yeah, well, Molly, we've been at Terminal B and Terminal A here at DFW International Airport, and I will say it's been a steady flow at the counter, but we have been seeing hundreds of delays and cancellations. Many people have been walking up to this board right here to check that status of their flight, and as you can see, it's proof right here, several cancellations, several delays. I spoke to some passengers who won't be able to fly out until tomorrow. Another gentleman told me he rebooked until 9 p.m. tonight. He's hoping to get out to Atlanta, but in the end, he said it is what it is. Now, according to FlightAware, at last check, there are 144 cancellations, 313 delays out of DFW, and for flights coming into DFW Airport, there are 141 cancellations and 228 delays. I've been watching those numbers increase over the last several hours, and the FAA says because of weather and thunderstorms, some arrival flights are being delayed around an hour and a half. It's the same for departures as well. I got some advice from the airport. They say that you want to keep in touch with your airlines and check the status of your flight before coming to the airport, and uh, good luck to everybody traveling today. Let's send it back to you guys in the studio. All right. Thank you, Tiffany. And you can see there the radar, the heavy showers, rain west of the Metroplex right now moving east. So we'll, of course, be bringing you every update we get throughout the night. But this is also a great time to make sure you've got your WFAA app downloaded. You can use it to track storms while you're on the go and share your photos and videos. Just go to the Near Me section and follow the directions there. 